Hi guys, so I decided to be a cheese puff today. <laughs> guys, quarantine is crazy. But I figured if I could bring a laugh to some of your faces, I would. And if you're crying because this is really creepy, then I apologize. <laughs> so, it is stripe test week. So, today will be pre-test. It'll be a bunch of the same things we've done in the past, like in the videos just all crammed together this video is for both advanced dragons and karate kid beginners so don't be confused if you click on the link and it's the same this is for karate kid beginners and advanced dragons because your curriculum is very similar so i felt like just combining the video and giving you guys separate tasks would be easiest so if i'm a cheese puff i'm talking to the karate kid beginners if I am another thing, I think broccoli, I am the advanced dragon. If a piece of broccoli, if I turn into broccoli, like for a split moment, it's because I want the advanced dragons to specifically do something different because you guys are different in a lot of ways, like curriculum wise. Um, but if I remain a cheese puff, then I am talking to everybody, if that makes sense. Which means it requires your focus, Advanced Dragons, to pay attention to what I'm telling you to do. Because the Karate Kid Beginners will go a little bit further than you. So, with that being said, hello Karate Kid Beginners and Advanced Dragons. This is your Stripe Test pre-test. We're going to get started with some Temple Run, just because I feel like that's an exciting way for us to get warmed up. There will be two colors that pop on the screen. And it is your responsibility to do that exercise associated with it 100% so that we're working hard, we're sweating hard, and we're getting ready for stripe tests and graduation. Um, yeah, so enjoy the workout or the warm up, and let's get started. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Advanced Dragons, you need to practice Action Cry Form 3 only up until the land chop. So you kick land chop, and that's what you've going, been going up to. So 
I'm not going to put in a video of how to do the form anymore because you guys should be able to do it if you've been following along with the videos. So land and chop, that's where you're ending off. I want you guys to find a song, perform in front of your parents, make a show, like have them sit down on the couch and watch you do your form to this song. Practice it a couple times before, but we got to get graduation ready. So you guys are only landing up to that chop land chop so you kicked you land chopped um i know mr ulibari in the video went further but i wanted to demonstrate that at the end you see all those cool tricks that he did i want you guys to add a little bit of spark to your form after you do what you're supposed to first so that way we get the technique and then the cool stuff at the end so please pick a song have fun Karate Kid Beginners, you're going to do the whole form. And just like Caleb did, you're going to add some tricks. Obviously, you don't have to do backflips and all that stuff. But add some cool things at the end of the form of your choice, of your own song, to really emphasize, um, you know, what you've been working on and your technique. You can pick any song you want, say your parents down, perform your form in front of them. But have fun with it. Practice for graduation. Have your own graduation at home along with these. Like, that's what we're going to be doing next week. But I want you guys to get in the zone for that. Because this is definitely something different and not expected. So pick a song. Do your form. Perform it. Have some fun. Set it up like a show. Like at graduation at home. Practice, practice, practice. Because we'd be doing that at karate. You guys are doing awesome. And I'm so proud of you guys. I dribble. <laughs> Uh, what's the teaser? Uh. Oh, I do. Dance Dragons, you are only doing this one. I know there's two self defenses present, but the Karate Kid Beginner will be doing the headlock one. Your self defense is the two hand choke from behind, hidden sword. Watch all strand. Make sure you step behind. Shrug those shoulders. Rotate fully. Chop, punch, kick. And take two steps away. Again, same idea. Perform the self defense to your best ability. Graduation's coming up. You want to be performance ready for both strike test and graduation. Have fun, guys. Karate Kid Beginners, you will be doing both self-defenses. Again, try and find a way to incorporate both at the same time, whether it be a multi-attacker, so one of your parents or one of your siblings attacks you with the choke from behind, and then one of your two-hand choke from behind, and then another person in your family attacks you with the headlock. So find a way to, again, make a fight scene, make a skit, do something with your self-defense this is no longer okay i'm gonna do this step by step it's now okay i'm gonna perform this and do something sparky with it i don't know why i can't think of a better word but do something that shows it's your form and no longer mine because i've gone through step by step with you how to do it i want to see your interpretations now have fun with it <laughs>
up, up, side, side, step.
Alrighty, so star sheets still need to get completed. Karate Kid Beginners, especially for you, this is still something you need to get done. If you do not have a printer, you should still be able to look up the PDF online and write down the answers on a separate piece of paper. Advanced Dragons, this is not mandatory for you, although I highly suggest that you do it for the sake of just practice, knowing what respect is. It's a nice way to summarize what we've been talking about this month. Um, make sure on the Zooms you are wearing your full uniform. All right, I know sometimes we like to wear our sweatpants or our PJs, but remember it's chart test this week. And as well as for graduation, just make sure we have our full uniforms on. If you do not have your full uniform for some reason, let me know, but we should still, we should be wearing them. Um, other than that, make sure you practice, 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 and perform like you mean it. You guys got this, and you've been doing great this whole cycle, regardless of if we're at the school or not, and I'm very proud of you guys. Thanks for joining in today.